Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dinosaur in the Library. Thank you so much for tuning in and many apologies for having disappeared for quite so long. Um, I have very much missed booktubing and uh, my booktubers because I'm really behind on watching videos too. So hopefully I can get caught up with that soon as well. Uh, but a lot of things have been going on in the past year or so and I just haven't been able to make videos. Um, I've said before I have anxiety and depression disorders and those have been massive, um, exacerbated by doing a dissertation and trying to work and live life uh, and do everything that you have to do. So I think those are starting to calm down a little bit, uh, but even if they're not, I have been of the opinion of the last little bit that I think BookTube was actually helping them quite a bit, so I'm trying to get back into it to uh, see if that was actually true. Um, and get back to my booktube friends. Uh, I have missed you all so much. And uh, I still have been reading lots and lots, um, or as much as possible while you're trying to do a dissertation. But um, I have been on this massive nonfiction kick. I have read very little fiction in the past year or so. Um, some things here and there, but, and I've got some things on my shelf that I really want to read, but I just cannot make myself read fiction right now, um, which you will see as the reviews and newer videos I'm going to make come out. I pretty much have only been reading nonfiction. Um, part of the reason that I haven't been doing any videos is because my books have been in a complete shambles. So last year, um, well, before I say that, all of our books were in the living room, with the exception of some of my school stuff, which is on the book short bookshelf behind me. Um, but everything else were on those tall bookshelves you can get from Walmart. They were all in the living room. There were like four tall ones and a couple of short ones, and everything was organized, and it was great. Um, Florida has a monsoon season, just so, just in case you didn't know, and Tallahassee is terrible, terrible in terms of um, drainage and our living room flooded so all of our bookshelves every single one of them was destroyed because they're from Walmart and they're press board and you get them wet and they just fall apart like graham crackers so you know we made the landlords pay for them don't get me wrong you know they did pay us for the destroyed furniture thankfully no books were harmed uh, in this tragedy uh, or otherwise there may have been blood but all of our books are safe but um, we're kind of wary of putting bookshelves back in the space in which the water came in, as I'm sure you can understand. So right now I'm down to two of the tall bookshelves, um, and everything else is stacked in the office, right? So half of the room is my wife's. She has her vanity and her, um, her hair and makeup stuff over there. And the other half is like my desk for me to work on for school and, th you know, all my crap. So the only place for me to put the books was to stack them in here. So underneath the desk is full of books. There's a lot of stuff stacked on these shelves behind me that you can't see, thankfully, because it is a hot mess. Um, there are stacks over half my height over in the corner that I'm staring at now. Um, mostly the nonfiction and also my juvenile collection, which is not as huge as the nonfiction, but, um, yeah, I don't have the space in this apartment to put a bookshelf anywhere else. So the two in the living room, um, fiction was in that corner. So I put fiction back on it first and then realized I have so much else to put on these shelves. So I have been being brutal going through my fiction section, trading things in, giving them to friends um, with the understanding that, yeah, I may want to read these again in the future or may want to read them at all in the future, but I'll have to just get them again because I'm not going to read them anytime soon. And they are taking up valuable real estate um, in my living room bookshelves. Um, they're still not quite straight, but they're a little bit better. Um, so hopefully I can get some of this in here straightened up to the point that I can put it out there um, and make this a little bit more of a usable space for me because I can't really use my home office area right now because I can't put my legs under the desk because literally there are books stacked from the wall to the edge uh, underneath the desk, right? Can't work here. So I've been doing most of my work at school. Um, I don't work very well in my living room, which is where my computer is right now because I'm too distracted by Netflix and the guinea pig and everything else that is going on. Um, so that's been 
trouble. Um, also, I have OCD, as I've said before, and when things are out of order, my brain is out of order. So it's been kind of a mess this year. Um, hopefully, I can get some of this straightened out soon. And I've been making some changes to my process for my dissertation, so hopefully I can get that finished more quickly than I thought I was going to, uh, which would be very nice because, as we all know, the only good dissertation is a finished dissertation. I would like to eventually graduate sometime this millennia, so we really want that to happen. Um, but that all said, uh, I'm really happy to be making videos again, and I really hope you guys uh, will tune in to see what I've been reading and the things I'm going to be doing in the future. So uh, I hope everybody's having an awesome week, and I'll talk to you again soon.